हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर थ्री टू स्टोरीज अबाउट फ्लाइंग इन योर फर्स्ट फ्लाइट ओके द फर्स्ट स्टोरी इन दिस चैप्टर इज हिज फर्स्ट फ्लाइट बाय लियाम ओ फ्लेहटी एंड द सेकेंड स्टोरी इन दिस चैप्टर इज द ब्लैक एरोप्लेन by frederick forsyth okay so we are going to start the first part of the story that is his first flight written by liam o flaherty so let me give give you a small introduction to this chapter his first flight okay this story is an account of a young bird that is afraid to fly for the first time he believes that his wings would never support him despite his younger siblings flying fearlessly with much shorter wings he could not gather the courage to do the same he was punished to stay hungry if he did not try thus it was his mother that compelled him to fly by using food as a trap the lesson reflects how one hesitates to take the first step and that fear is all in the mind one should trust one's abilities because the fear of suffering is worse than the suffering itself okay this story also conveys a very important message that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step okay so let us begin the story before you read since the earliest times human have dreamed of conquering the skies here are two stories about flying first a young seagull is afraid to fly how does he conquer his fear second a pilot is lost in the storm clouds does he arrive safe who helps him so let us begin the first part of the story his first flight the young seagull seagull means a sea bird a bird that lives near the sea and has short legs long wings and white and gray feathers okay so the young seagull was alone on the ledge ledge means a cliff so the young seagull was alone on the cliff his two brothers and his sister had already flown away the day before so the seagull's two brothers and his sister they had already taken taken their flight the day before he had been afraid to fly with them but that seagull was afraid to fly with them somehow when he had taken a little run forward to the brink of the ledge and attempted to flap his wings he became afraid but somehow when he gathered courage and ran forward to the end of the cliff and attempted to uh, fly attempted to move his wings attempted to fly he became afraid he uh, could not gather courage to fly the great expense of sea stretched down beneath and it was such a long way down miles away he afraid because of the great expense of sea which was stretching miles away beneath him beneath the cliff he felt certain that his wings would never support so he used to feel that when he when he would start flying his wings would never support him so he bent his head 
and ran away back to the little hole under the ledge where he slept at night so he could not gather courage to fly and went his bent his head and uh, ran back to the little hole under the ledge where he used to fly so he could not uh, gather to courage for flying and he went back to the hole uh, which was under the cliff where he used to sleep during night even when each of his brothers and his sister whose wings were far shorter than his own ran to the brink flapped their wings and flew away he failed to muster up courage to take the plunge which appeared to him so desperate even when each of his brothers and his little sister whose wings were shorter than his own so even though his brothers and sister a sister whose wings were shorter than that seagull that young seagull they ran to the end of the cliff they flapped their wings and they flew away even though he uh, he used to see uh, them doing so but he failed to gather the courage to take the plunge to take the jump which appeared to him so desperate which was for him so disappointed his father and mother had come around calling to him shrilly his father and mother they had come around uh, they were calling him in a high pitched voice they were uh, upbraiding him upbraiding means scolding they were scolding him threatening to let him starve on his legs unless he flew away they were scolding him that uh, they would let him hungry on the ledge on the cliff unless he flew away but for the life of him he could not move but because he afraid to fly he felt that his wings would not support and he would get die so because for life he could not move he could not gather courage to fly that was 24 hours ago so that happens 24 hours ago since then nobody had come near him so since last 24 hours nobody came to near him the day before all day long he had watched his parents flying about with his brothers and sisters perfecting them in the art of flight teaching them how to skim the waves and how to dive for fish so since last 20 hours no one came to him no one came to the seagull who afraid to fly the day before all day long he had watched his parents flying about with his brothers and sister he kept on watching his parents flying with his brothers and sister perfecting them in the art of the flight teaching them how to skim how to hover how to move slightly just above the surface that is skim so they were teaching him uh, the parents were teaching his brothers and sister how to skim the waves how to you know hover around the wave how to move lightly just above the waves and how to dive for fish so his parents were teaching his brothers and sisters uh, how to fly how to skim uh, overall his parents were making his brothers and sisters perfect in the art of flight he had in fact seen his older brother catch his first herring and devour it so he had in fact seen older brother his older brother his first herring so by sitting on the cliff 
he had seen his brother uh, he has seen that how his brother was catching his first herring herring a type of fish a type of sea fish and devour it and how his brother was eating it quickly standing on a rock while his parents circled around raising a proud cackle so uh, he was looking all these standing on a rock while his parents they were circling around raising a proud cackle because uh, his brothers and sister they were flying well they were making their uh, taking their first meal they they were catching the first herring first fish so that's why uh, his parents parents were very happy and they were making a proud cackle cackle means laugh they were laughing loudly and all the morning the whole family had walked about on the big plateau midway down the opposite cliff taunting him with his covered eyes so and all the morning the whole family had walked about on the big plateau midway down the opposite cliff so all the morning no one came to him they were they were all flying just opposite to him on the big plateau okay and taunting him with his covered eyes and making fun of him for his covered eyes so no one came to him all the morning his brothers as well as sister and parents they were sitting just on opposite cliff and they were making fun of his covered eyes the sun was now ascending the sky the sun was now ascending the sky means now it was getting evening blazing on his lids it was a uh, getting afternoon or evening blazing on his lids that face to south the sun was shining on the lids and uh, lids which which face to the south he felt the heat because he had not eaten since the previous night fall since last 24 hours no one came to him so he was feeling heat as he had not eaten since eaten anything since the last night he stepped slowly out to the brink of the ledge and standing on one leg with the other leg hidden under his wings he closed one eye then the other and pretended to be falling asleep so he stepped slowly out to the brink he slowly stepped out to the end of the ledge to the edge of the ledge and standing on one leg with the other other leg hidden under his wing so he came to the end of the ledge and he was standing on his one leg and he hid his one leg under his wing he closed one eye then the other he closed his both eyes and pretending to be falling asleep so as he had not eaten anything since last 24 hours so he was pre pretending that he was sleeping still they took no notice of him still his parents as well as his brothers and sister they took no notice of him he saw his two brothers and his sister lying on the plateau dozing with their heads sunk into their necks he saw his two brothers and his younger lying on the plateau they were lying on the plateau dozing with their head sunk into the necks they were they were uh, taking a nap by sinking their heads into their necks his father was preening preening means 
to tidy or clean its feather so his father was cleaning his feathers on his white back so uh, his father was cleaning his white feathers only his mother was looking at him so only his mother was looking at him as we know that mother loves uh, his uh, her sorry mother loves his son or daughter very much so out of love okay so uh, she could not stop herself from looking at him so that's why only his mother was looking at him she was standing on a little high hum so she was standing on a little raised platform of the earth on the plateau her white breast thrust forward her, her white breast was coming forward now and again she tore a piece of fish that lay at her feet and then scraped each side of her beak on the rock now and again fre uh, frequently she tore a piece of fish see uh, she used to tearing a piece of fish that lay at her feet and then scratched scraped means scratched scratched each uh, each side of her beak on the rock so she was tearing a piece of fish and she was scratching her uh, beak on the rock and uh, she uh, she was looking at him the sight of the food maddened him as he was hungry since last 24 hours so that's why the sight of the food maddened him so because of sight of the food he got uh, he he had gone mad how he loved to tear food that way scraping his beak now and again to wet it so uh, he started remembering how he loved to tear food that way uh, scratching his beak uh, uh, frequently to sharpen it so uh, he was sharpening his beak so and remembering that how he used to love to tear his food to tear fish ga 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 he cried begging her to bring him some food so ga 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 he cried and he was uh, begging uh, his mother to bring him some food because he was hungry ga kol a she screamed back derisively so when he said ga 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 and he was begging food from her mother uh, from his mother then his mother replied ga kol a and she screamed back derisively uh, she also screamed back as she uh, derisively means make fun of anyone in a manner showing someone that he or she is stupid so make fun of anyone so she also screamed back as she was making fun of him but he kept calling plaintively but he kept calling her mother sadly and after a minute or so he uttered a joyful scream but after a minute or so he started uh, he made a joyful scream his mother had picked up a piece of fish and was flying across to him with it his mother had picked up a piece of fish and started flying across to him with that piece of fish he leaned out eagerly tapping the rock with his feet so the seagull leaned out eagerly tapping his rock he became very happy because his mother was coming to watch him with the food with pieces of fish trying to get nearer to her so he was trying to get nearer to her mother as she flew across but she flew across she did not come to him but she was just opposite to him she halted 
बट वेन शी वॉज जस्ट ऑपोजिट टू हिम शी स्टॉप्ड हर विंग्स मोशनलेस द पीस ऑफ फिश इन हर बीक ऑलमोस्ट विद इन रीच ऑफ हिज बीक सो वेन शी वॉज जस्ट नियर टू हिम शी स्टॉप्ड हाइल्टेड मीन्स स्टॉप शी स्टॉप्ड हर विंग्स बिकेम मोशनलेस and the piece of fish in her beak almost within reach of the his uh, he was he was just near to the piece of fish uh, which her uh, his mother was having in her beak he waited a moment in surprise wondering why she did not come nearer so he waited a moment in surprise and he he Uh, he was wondering that why her mother was not coming near to him and then maddened by hunger then became gone mad because of hunger and dived at the fish and suddenly he dived at the fish which his mother was having in her beak with a loud scream he felt outwards and downwards into space so with a loud scream he felt sometime upwards sometime downwards so this way outwards and downwards so he was falling in the uh, he was falling upwards and downwards in the space then a monstrous terror seized him and his heart stood still then a horrible terror grabbed him caught him and his heart stood still and his heart stopped beating as if his heart stopped beating he felt nothing and nothing was audible to him uh it means when is uh, when he uh, jumped when he dived for the piece of the fish which his mother was having in her beak then uh he started coming upwards and downwards and uh, became very uh, he got afraid he, he got afraid very much but it only lasted a minute but all these fear finished in a minute the next moment he felt his wings spread outwards the next moment he realized that his wings spread outwards the wind rushed against his breast feathers and the wind was rushing against his breast feathers then under his stomach and against his wings so he was feeling the wind uh, under his stomach and against his wings so now he got over he or he had overcome his fear and now he started flying he could feel the tips of his wings cutting through the air so he was feeling that the tips of his, the ends of his wings uh, cutting the air cutting through the air so now he could fly easily he had overcome his fear he could uh, he was not falling headlong now he was not falling with the uh, head foremost so now he was not falling now he was soaring he was flying or uh, he was rising high in the air gradually downwards and outwards so now he started flying continuously downwards and outwards he was no longer afraid now he was no longer afraid he had overcome his fear he just felt a bit dizzy he just Uh, felt a bit dizzy a bit uncomfortable uh, feeling of spinning around and losing one's balance so 
यू नो दैट इज कॉल्ड यू नो चक्कर आना इन हिंदी सो ही फेल्ट अ बिट डिजी देन ही फ्लैब्ड हिज विंग्स वंस एंड सोड अप वर्ड्स देन he flapped his wings once again and he started going upwards started flying upwards ga 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 kol a uh, ga kol a his mother swooed his mother rapidly his mother also uh, making this sound calling him and she was she was also flying rapidly behind him her wings making a loud noise and her wings her uh, 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 his mother's wings were making a loud noise he answered her with another scream and with another scream uh, the young seagull uh, he answered the young seagull answered his mother then his father flew over his screaming now his father was also flying over screaming he was he saw his two brothers and his sister flying around him curvetting so he he saw his two brothers and his sister also flying around him they were leaping like a horse and banking banking means also flying with one wing higher the, than the other so and soaring and diving so he also felt that his brothers and sister and father they all were flying around him then he completely forgot that he had not always been able to fly and commanded a uh, commended okay then he completely forgot that earlier he was afraid to fly that he had not been able to fly and he praised he became confident himself to dive and soar and curve shrieking shrilly so now he was he was able to dive he was able to fly he was able to curve so now he was uh, shouting in a high pitch he was screaming with a high pitch now he was very happy he became confident he was near the sea now flying straight over it facing straight out over the ocean now he was near the sea flying straight over the sea now facing the ocean he saw a vast green sea beneath him with little ridges so he saw a vast green sea beneath him with a long narrow hill tops with mountain range moving over it and he turned his big sideways and caught amusedly so now he was moving over it he was turning his beak and shouting happily his parents and his brothers and sister had landed on his green flooring ahead of him his bro- his parents his brothers and sisters they landed on his green flooring they landed on green flooring means see they landed on the sea ahead of him they were beckoning to him they were encouraging him calling shrilly calling uh, with a high pitch of sound he dropped his legs to stand on the green sea he also dropped his leg in order to stand on the sea his legs sank into it his legs the young seagull's legs sank into the sea he screamed with fright he got afraid and he screamed with fright and attempted to rise again flapping his wings and uh, he attempted to come out by flapping his wings but he was tired and weak with hang uh, tired sorry but he was tired and weak with hunger and he could not rise exhausted by the strange experience because uh, he got tired and he was also weak he he uh, had not eaten anything since last 24 hours his feet sank into the green sea his feet sank into the green sea and then his belly touched it and then he sank no further so after uh, sinking his uh, feet into green sea 
his belly touched the sea he sank no further he he had overcome his fear this way he was floating on it and around him his family was screaming and around him his family was encouraging they were screaming praising him and their beaks were offering him scraps of dog fish and uh, his parents his uh, members of his family his brothers sister they were offering him the scraps the pieces of dog fish he had made his first flight so this way he had made his first flight okay students so this is all about the chapter his first flight now in my next video i will discuss the summary of the chapter and answers to all the questions thank you for watching